Now, as you are students, I'll be able to tell you something about what problems you might face. It's very important that if you understand it, what problems a student can face when he is uh, studying very hard and is very important, that you should study. But with Sahaja these problems won't arise. Now, there's a center here, the second center that you see, the yellow one, is the center which has many functions to do. It has to look after your liver, it has to look after your pancreas, it has to look after your spleen, it has to look after your kidney, and it has to look after your bones. All this has to be done by this one But the most important thing for it is to supply energy for the use of brain, because when you are using gray cells, these gray cells get burned out, and to replace them with the energy, you have to have some mechanism in your body, and this is the center that converts the fat cells from the body and brings them to the brain. So you must know that the brain is made of fat. That of course you must be known. So this conversion takes place. And when this conversion takes place, you'll be amazed that how much energy you are spending in reading, studying and what. With this thing only we have been able, with this principle only we have been able to cure so many diseases. If you apply this disease, you can find out. One of the persons who did work on asthma, one of the doctors, has used the same theory. And it has worked wonders. So many people are cured of asthma. Now, so what is the principle? You must keep an open mind as to when you come in the university, you have to keep an open mind. But if you are already worked out, it won't go into your head. So please, listen to me. This center, of course, these doctors do not know, of course. I have done medicine myself, they don't know this. But in a subtle way, you can know anything. Now, this center you use too much, all the time. After all, you are studying, working very hard, thinking too. As a result, you might end up a bad liver, a heated liver. The liver see, is the worst enemy of human being. Because it absorbs, the liver absorbs all the heat of the body and releases it. That heat comes as a poison into the bloodstream. But supposing this liver is neglected because of the overactivity of this center for thinking people, for futuristic people, studying people also, this heat can start rising higher. As a result of that, this center that you see on the left side of the heart gets heated. And that is the center which looks after your breathing. And that's how one can get to pass. This heat can even reach your heart and can really engulf the heart so badly that if there is a heart attack in young age, it's always fake, even the first one. Supposing some people are working very hard as students, also playing very hard because the right side is affected by too much physical and also by too much mental activity and dreams, plays tennis or some sort of a very fast games. Plus that is very hard and puts too much pressure on his lives. Then what happens? Then this heat starts traveling to the heart also on the left side and completely gives you a massive heart and in young age, these heart attacks are always fake. You cannot save people from this. Very seldom it has happened. Another thing is this heat now travels to your pancreas. As a result, the pancreas goes out of water 
are free to get tired. In India, in middle East, unless and until you put so much sugar that the spoon has to stand at a particular or perpendicular angle, they don't think it is tea. They drink so much of sugar. In the middle East, but nobody will stand. Only the bureaucrats and sedentary people who sit and write and think too much and plan which plans which never come through and work on lots of this thinking and doing paroles, they are the ones who put that it is. Or the ones who plans too much. Even a housewife, she's a big planner, she might be that. Then the third disease is even worse because of the speed. Now speed is a speedometer in our and it has a certain rhythm. Whenever we are in emergency, the speed liberates or creates a lot of our disease means red blood corpuscles for the use of emergency. But if a person is a hectic time, as our life is very hectic, say early in the morning you get up after the hangover, maybe I don't know how, and then you start just someone on the up. Getting into the car, you have not taken your breakfast, so you are carrying breakfast into it at the same time. Then you see a jam, then you get a very upset. But if you read newspaper, it is even worse. So the whole system is energy of fire. Not only that, but it's so hectic, the life is so hectic, that this poor spirit doesn't know how to, how to carry on with this crazy personality which suddenly starts becoming very uh, emergent, suddenly it demands more RBCs, so it becomes vulnerable and then any attack from the left side, you can get blood cancer. You will be happy to know, Sir Yoga has cured many blood cancer patients. I am not saying I have cured, it's your own brain. And one of the boys have got MD in that subject. So it is already recognized in India. Because this is an ancient science for me. This is the science of the roots. Why do you have the science of the whole civilization? But you don't know the roots. We have to know the roots and if it is coming from India, it doesn't matter. Not only in India, it has been said, even in the Bible, tree of life is mentioned and appear before you like tons of faces. These centers look like really beautiful very soothing type of frames. We call them as metal singing. So then this heat can travel up to your kidneys. And the coagulation of the kidney takes place. When the coagulation takes place, they put you on the dialysis, but I assure you, nobody can be saved out. All your life you are spending money with this dialysis. It's a horrible thing. And after some time that it has to be a tax. Then the worst is the bowels. You get into a funny situation where you might get a bile, bilious temper, where all the time if you're nauseating, you can't eat food and you'll vomit out some bile all the time or you, your attention is never happy. Then the last one is, is constipation because of the heat. All these things are because of one center. So it is very important that we should understand about our being inside and get into balance and must know how to get it cured and how to work it out. It's all our knowledge and it is our body and we can do it without going through that MBBS course which takes you out of life. It's very simple to keep yourself but with this you develop a new awareness which we call as collective consciousness. And this collective consciousness gives you the complete indication of your centers because of selfhood and self-knowledge on your fingertips. So these are 5, 6 and 7 on the left side, 5, 6 and 7 on the right side. This is 1, 5 and 7. And you can feel, of course, in the medical science, they do say that the uh, sympathetic nervous sendings are at the end of the fevers. That's very safe. But you can feel, even children, if they dry their eyes with some sort of a 
handkerchief or something and ask them, what's wrong with each other? They raise the same figure, or maybe the two figures. And you ask that gentleman, because it is decoded, are you suffering from this disease? Yes, but how do you know? The children are told us. So you can diagnose yourself. People become mad without knowing that they are becoming mad. People develop cancer without knowing that they are developing cancer. All kinds of things happen to you without knowing what is wrong with you. But with this, you immediately know what is wrong with you and you can correct yourself. You can correct yourself. And with this corrective consciousness, you can feel the centers of other souls. But you have to reach a certain state, which we call as doubtless awareness. Is nirvikal to samadhi as said in Sanskrit. Once you reach that state, in that state you can feel anybody's centers. I mean, most of the surgeons who are here are quite difficult. 